Welcome back to The Drawing Board, brought to you by CyberArk. I'm Emma Talpy, and joining us today to discuss privileged access management is Sam Plaster from the CyberArk product marketing team. Happy to be here, Emma. The privileged accounts IT teams use to access critical systems are the keys to the kingdom, and attackers know it. Compromised identities and credentials remain the number one attack vector. After compromising an identity, attackers move laterally until they can escalate privileges enough to achieve their objectives, like stealing sensitive data or deploying ransomware. Traditionally, it was easier to pinpoint identities with privileged access. Right, but things have changed. Any identity, human, machine, or third party, could have access to sensitive resources or data. Exactly. Privileged Access Management, or PAM, is at the heart of identity security programs that address these challenges. The attack surface is bigger, IT environments are more complex, and more identities need access. So to visualize this, let's look at PAM in the context of how you'd secure your own home. Awesome. So we'll start by guarding the front door. Single sign-on tools let every identity have a single ID and password, like reducing the number of keys to the house. It's also a best practice to add multi-factor authentication, or MFA, to double check everyone who comes in the door. These are key lines of defense in an identity security program. But what if someone gets inside? That's where PAM comes in. Privileged access management protects internal pathways to the most sensitive resources in an organization, like critical servers or virtual machines. But I'm curious, Emma, what's something that you'd want to protect at all costs in your home? Well, I collect plants, but I don't think they do well in a safe. So maybe my family's heirloom jewelry? Cool. What about you, Sam? That's easy. My shrine to Tom Brady, my favorite athlete. <laughs> OK. Um, not entirely sure how to draw that. You know, a, a big number 12 jersey, chiseled jawline, usually some flowers. OK, got it. So let's think about zero trust frameworks and apply an assumed breach mindset. If a bad actor outside or inside the organization gets in the house, PAM controls can stop them from messing with my shrine. Here are three ways PAM drives measurable risk reduction. Number one, discover privileged identities, accounts, and credentials. First step is identifying all your credentials with access to sensitive resources, or all the keys to the doors inside the house that guard our valuables. At the scale of the modern enterprise, this is a huge undertaking. If an attacker gets hold of a single loose key or SSH key, they'll gain a lot of power. Modern PAM solutions discover a broad range of accounts and credentials, including admin passwords, SSH keys for Linux machines, even cloud IAM accounts, and access keys. That takes us to number two, which is protect and rotate credentials. It's always good to change your home's locks every once in a while. You'll want to do the same with IT credentials. And in many industries, this is even mandated by compliance frameworks. After the discovery phase, PAM onboards credentials to a tamper-proof vault where they're strengthened and automatically rotated so they're harder for attackers to steal. PAM rotates passwords after each use so the key to the shrine room never works twice. For all those clearly privileged credentials, you'll want to set up PAM approval workflows to conditionally limit and govern access. And don't forget, credentials for workforce users also grant access to sensitive data. A good PAM solution can securely and seamlessly manage employee credentials to web apps. We call this workforce password management. And finally, for number three, which is isolate and monitor privileged sessions. Privileged session management provides an additional layer of security for the most sensitive IT sessions. Even if a user completes an approval workflow and is validated with MFA, we might want extra security. PAM isolates workstations from the systems they need to access, routing traffic through a proxy server. This isolation layer prevents malware from spreading, cutting off attackers from lateral movement. PAM can also help organizations monitor sensitive access by logging commands and recording sessions, all while retaining native user experiences for operational efficiency. This helps satisfy audit and compliance requirements and accelerate security response by detecting risky activity and quickly flagging it for review. So back to our home security analogy, session management is like... Like putting bulletproof glass around your Tom Brady shrine and setting up security cameras? Exactly. And some motion sensing lasers too. So the moral of the story? 
Privileged Access Management provides multiple levels of hardcore defense in-depth controls to safeguard an organization's most sensitive resources. Thanks for watching The Drawing Board. To learn more about PAM and how CyberArk is helping organizations to manage privileged access, visit cyberarc.com. See you next time.